Now an artist from our region is getting ready to show off the secrets behind some of his amazing wildlife pictures. Robert Fuller spends hours out in the countryside trying to get as close as he can to animals to capture the perfect photograph of them. He then transforms those pictures into unique and intricate paintings. Well, his latest exhibition at his gallery in Thixendale near Malton opens this weekend. And our reporter, James Webster, has been along for a look. Robert Fuller's studio looks out across the Yorkshire Wolds. It's this landscape that inspires his work. Oh, yeah, I can't get enough of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a slight obsession in a way. I, I, you know, I think there's always something to learn about wildlife. You can uh, spend years watching a subject and trying to capture things uh, that no one else has seen. I've got uh, nine new paintings in the gallery. I've got uh, mainly oil paintings. Um, so these pictures can be a long time in the making. Producing some of the pictures he has on show here can take months or even longer. Robert spends many hours out videoing and photographing animals, trying to capture the exact pose he wants for a painting. I'm laying them all out in the order that I've actually taken them so I can compare each picture and straight away some of the photographs sort of grab my attention. These will then be transformed into a painting. Unusually for this one, he has a real-life model. Not all animals you can obviously handle. I mean, hedgehogs are one of the few... British species that you can actually handle safely and doesn't cause them too much distress. Robert's new exhibition, Setting the Scene, explores how his work comes to life. It's been a delight having him those up this week and uh, it brought them to life, which it, framing does bring them to life. It's uh, hand in hand. I'm out there, you know, in the environment, out in blizzards, to actually capture these subjects and... Uh, that's what it's all about, really, for me, is actually experiencing the wildlife actually in the wild and then coming back into the studio and putting it onto canvas, so to speak. Past exhibitions have brought in more than 2,000 visitors. This one runs till the 24th of November. James Webster, ITV News, Fixendale.